So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com. The place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. I'm here with Marcin. Mar Mar Martin would be easier. <laughs> Marcin Robka from uh, Portal Games. I'm the designer of Alien Artifacts. I'm co-designer with, with my wife, Viola Kioska. Oh, lovely. <laughs> nice to do things together like that. Yeah, of course. So I understand this is a 4X game that you can play in less than an hour. Is that right? Even less. I mean, like, with two-player game, you can, uh, you can shorten your time up to 20, 25 minutes. So it's a very tense game, yeah. So, can you just run us through quickly how to play, and then we can play a few turns if that's sure, okay? Sure, of course, yeah. So, basically, Iron Artifice is a game about when you explore galaxy, when you build your own empire, when you're trying to achieve as most technologies as you can, as you can do it. Uh, the game is divided with the turns, and during your turn, you can do one action and production phase. As simple as that. Uh, the core of the game is the deck resource deck. That's how I call it, the resource deck when you have four different types of, of, of resources. Green, green resources allows you to discover more planets. Blue, techno, blue uh, resources allows you to discover more technologies. Okay. While the red uh, resources allows you to build more ships. Okay. Right. Uh, the yellow one is the wild color, where you can use it in either way. Right. Okay. During your turn, you have three cards in your hand. Then you can use only two, uh, only two cards. So you can use uh, which, you can use whatever you like. Which side of the cards you can use? You can okay. use a blue one or red one. Depends of the things. What would you like to build? Also, so the, the cards are just to kind of say, the cards are double sided. Well, two things on. So you pick which top or bottom that you're using. Uh, yeah, exactly. And we have some numbers. The numbers are useful for when you attack alien planets basically this is the okay. result of the battle uh, so at the beginning of the game it depends on the which faction you'd like to choose we have also as in portal games we have male and female version yeah. let's say i'm gonna play so a lot of people really appreciate really? just equality yeah. Yeah. And nice to have <laughs> this is a you know we prefer and we'd love to hear that women play the games as well so we have female version of the uh, of our factions. Anyway, this is this is cool game. This is cool thing. Usually, you start with one ship, one random ship, one random planet, and one uh, technology. They need to be discovered, basically achieved. So you so. can both guys you, on the left side take one of each. That will be a base setup, right? And draw three resource cards. Resource cards. Okay. Beginning with the first player. Would you like to be a first player? Okay. Yep. Or you want to be a first player? Okay, so, so I pick? now pick two cards to play. Yes. And the base price to build a ship, achieve new technology, or discover a new plant is five. Five of different colors, or uh, the same colors. Okay. So what do you have? So I've got five green. That's the only thing I've got five you of. Have four, five green. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or of course you can use this wild color. Okay. Yeah. So. But the the only thing I've got a three of yeah. so is that. So you can discover this planet. Okay. So you put those cards under this planet. If you have at least five, that means those those cards are discarded. Okay. So if I was playing less, I could store them under there. For sure. A you can turn. store it. You can save some some cards. Uh, and this, this card is going on the right side, that means it, it's discovered. And you have an option to settle this planet. This planet will give you base discount on the technology, minus two for each technology you discover, okay. or you can exhaust it. When you exhaust the planet, you draw three cards and you put those resources under this planet. And you can treat those resources as, as they were in your hand. So are they, do they last permanently? They, they stay permanent unless you, you use it, of course, right? So is that would that be my action, though, to do that? So I can't do that this turn because my action was to play the cards. Is that right? Not really, actually. That's because you, after when you discover this, this planet, you have an option to settle it or to exhaust it. So okay. that's, it comes straight away when you discover straight, it. Straight away. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so yeah, we'll go for, I think, exhausted. Exhausted planet. Yeah, hey, yeah. that's perfect. <laughs> and that's the end of your action. Now we're going to the production. Okay. If you can 
you can you can that, this card uh, that's you can, of course you can this this card is as well. Okay, I'm going to keep it. Cause it's got sure. the two randoms. That and seems you pretty good. Draw up to three cards. Okay. And basically, that's the end of your run. So okay. what, what I'm going to do right and it, now? I, I just want to note, it's really good that the player board here, the free actions you can do, it actually says exactly what those it's are and what the cost is. These these base actions are quite different. That's because in the later in the game you will see each of these cards. They have gives you more actions. First of all, they have some ongoing effect or one use only effect. So when you have ongoing effect, it seems like this this ongoing effect on the card is more powerful than one use only. So with the, those base actions, we allow the players to use it again those one use only cards. Like when you spend five green, you can add one resource card un under your each of your exhausted planets. Okay. The same story with uh, end scoring technologies and, and uh, ships that have, has been uh, sent on a mission. That yeah. have been sent on a mission. You, later on, you will see how powerful those base actions are. Okay. Anyway, what I'm going to do right now, I'd like to copy your movement. That's because it was very clever. Mm -hmm. I have plus you've got the five green. <laughs> That's what you yeah, can I do. Could use, uh, I could use, yeah, exactly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to discover this planet. So this planet, I can exhaust it or I can keep it as a permanent discount minus two to buy any of my uh, cards. To buy new cards. Yeah, that's so because is that the only way to get new cards to the left? That's the only way, but you need to bank your resources first. Okay. So how to bank it? Instead of discovering planet, I, can, I, I will be able to play these cards. That allows me to play so it's five, five that's five, five, uh, five, bank, five dollars, right? So if, if you didn't have enough for five, say you only had four, rather than putting cards underneath cards to save up for something, that you might choose to bank instead. That's true, that's, that's the thing, right. Anyway, I discovered this plan, this is my base discount, so each of these cards cost me three instead of five. Yeah. Right, and I draw up to three cards, and this is your turn right now. Of red, which would get me this, yeah? Exactly. So you're going to build with the ship, right? And you have also you have an option to keep it in your fleet. And when you keep it in the, in your fleet, that allows you to play one more card, three cards instead of two when you develop technologies. Or you can send him on a mission. Then when you send him on a mission, you draw one card and you see the result of this. First of all, you need to choose which alien planet you'd like to basically attack, conquer. When you conquer one of these planets, you draw a card and you check the result, right? But each of these cards, each of these uh, ships, they have a special ability. This allows you to draw two alien artifacts cards instead of one, of course, when you discover alien artifacts. So what would you like to do? There's always an option. I'm going to go with that one, I think. All right, and you draw up to three cards. So you're saving up the powers for later on in the game rather exactly. than going for a quick win now, okay? So we returns to you. Okay. So, so um, well, hmm. You should, you, you will be able to discover I, plans only if you have any. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll play those two to uh, get the ship because right. I've got my two permanent here. Exactly. So the three plus these two. No, you, you should have only this is uh, this is not the discount. Oh, it's discount not a discount. Is only when you settle this plan, you have a okay. Term, you would let, you would have permanent discount for developing uh, technologies only. So settle. these would get used though. Then you can use those. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll do that. I'll use up those. But mind that you can you can use only two cards during your turn. Now you'd like to have... Oh, okay, so those count as cards I'd be using in my turn. Yeah, exactly. Right, also okay. you can store these resources, you know, later on. Yeah. Which is a good idea right now. Okay. Um, or you can... So I think I'm going to bank five then. Because, I, I mean, I, I haven't got a planet to yeah. store them under. So, so I'll bank the five. You bank five. And, and then you run and you draw, draw two. All right. So uh, at what point in your turn would you buy cards? Instead, instead of... Uh, using these cards you just you just buy uh, okay. as simple as that instead yeah. of drawing your action for the turn action, is you, can, to buy. you can buy you can buy more cards that's because for five you can grab only top card right yeah but if you spend but if more, i had six i could buy two as one action 
you can you can choose you can choose from two. You can buy you can draw two cards when you spend six dollars, and you can choose one of them. Oh, so you only get to keep one for an action. Okay. Of course, some of the technologies with ongoing effect allows you to buy more cards, but you, first of all, you need to develop them. Okay. So what else do we have? This is my action right now, yeah? Yeah. So I'm going to bank this, $5, and I have $5, and I draw my, uh, pr during production, I draw up to three cards. What would you like to do? Uh, well, I've got five blue, so I'm going to do my production. So... As previously, with the ships you have an, you had an option with with uh, with uh, planets you had an option. The same story with technologies. You might have ongoing effect, which gives you a special ability throughout the game, or you can you can place it as an end scoring technology that gives you some extra victory points at the end of the game. But okay, so that's really probably good. more to do to, nearer the end of the game. People will yes, be rushing indeed. to do yeah, that. Yeah. Exactly. Right now, it makes sense to go for the permanent power. But we're oh, yeah. probably not going to play a full game, yeah. so it's up to you. So I'm having an enhanced economic program. Exactly. This is a very powerful ongoing effect. During production, when you resign to draw cards, you receive one victory point, which is great. So, you've discovered, and you have an option already. Would you like to draw up to three, or would you like to resign and draw one victory point? Uh, I need some cards, I yeah. think, so this time it's going to be... All right, excellent. Okay, now so it's background to me. Uh, now I can do the five red to get my ship. Um, you can send him on a mission, and maybe you'll find some alien artifacts, or you can keep it as a, as a next... Uh, next. Uh, I think for now the sensible thing is to keep it for and the when you develop, playing an extra card. When you develop... You can use three cards instead of two. Yeah. Right now the base. That's because I didn't tell you one more thing. When you, when I have, let's say, next planet to discover, my base price distance basically it's five plus one for each cards I already discovered. Okay. So, so the one, more you invest in an area, the harder it is to build up. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, the distance is you know, bigger. And it's farther. It's farther. This, this one is farther than this one. So. I need to spend more resources. The same story with technology, cards, and the same story with, uh, with ships. Yeah, that right? nice easy sense. So I draw I have this, sorry, I don't have two, two cards. Okay. But definitely I want to buy it, right? So this is my turn right now. Yeah. So we can faster the game because we know basically the basic, rule, basic rules how we play this game. So it's very tense, very fast game. Yeah. Um, I, I might bank six. Yeah, excellent. So you put it six. So what would you like? And would you like to draw cards, or would you like to receive one victory point? Because this is ongoing effect, so she yeah. can she can grab some victory points and. So on my next turn, this is what you use to buy these cards, right? Your bank stuff, yeah. and they cost five each. It, the top, the, the top. They're three each, three for a card. Um, then this time I'll have a victory point. Oh, definitely. So right now we're gonna draw it. Or uh, are you getting I'm going to go for the victory right. point, yeah. But you don't... Yes. You don't yeah. So this is one victory point okay. for not using production. Okay. So I, I'm going to spend three uh, to buy a card, and I'm going to buy... It's five for each. Oh, they're five for each, yeah. sorry. So five... Uh, Maybe ship, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to go ship, because right. I've got a lot of red there. So, so top card. Top you card. Yeah. And you can discard some of these cards and make a production or you can keep it. Uh, oh, so I can do a production as well? No, no, no you can, that's, that's because the, the buying, that was your main action. Now we are going to the production. Okay. So you can discard some of these cards to, to the discard draw new five, cards. To draw new cards. Okay. But I can see you have uh, good cards. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. Sure. So. Now turns returns to me and what I'm going to do I'm definitely going to build that ship. The base price is five because I have no ships yet. So, and I'm going to send him on the mission. Uh, and when I send him on the mission, I draw, I choose one of each, uh, one of alien planets. Let's say this one, and I draw a card. This ship has a special ability. It's plus one to battle resolve. So it's three, in each, which means it's four. 
and I can gain one victory point or alien artifacts. Mm, okay. It's so tempting to fight some <laughs> alien artifacts out there, so I'd like to grab it. And any time during my turn for free, when I place this card, it gives me ten dollars. Okay, so that's just that a one-off effect. That was a very rich source yeah. of money. This this uh, plan is destroyed, and we drew, uh, we drew second. Uh, oh, there's always two visible act. Okay. Cost you five, but you can draw two if you spend one more dollar, and you can and choose, choose one. The best. Choose the best one. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. This is quite tempting. And I can look at both sides and decide which one. I mean, I yeah, yeah, of course you can. You can choose. You can always can see. So, and would you like to grab some uh, resource cards? Yes, I should. All right. So, in that case, you won't find uh, any victory points. Anyway, uh, what would you like to do? Okay, so I'm gonna use both of those. You need to spend six instead of five because it's five like a base price. Yeah. Plus one for plus each. one. So, but that is six, isn't it? Excellent. excellent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so. Would you like to send him on mission, or would you like to keep this ship into your in the, in your fleet? Uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna go for a mission. Sure. So we'll go for this one. Hey, and so on the, oh, nice, cool. nice shot. So uh, after attack, after attack put, put one resource card on, under this ship. So nice place one with the lower number okay. of resources. So like Keep we did for the planet in your hand, right? Yeah. And you are able to, yeah. That's that was this plan, isn't it? Yeah. So, so you can gain one victory point and two dollars, or you can oh. choose one art. You can draw one alien artifact. I'm going to go for the alien artifact. Sure. So we've got any time during your turn for free, flip it after use. Each of your planets generate one resource card. Yeah, but you can keep it. Yeah. At the end of the game, like you can place it, you can play it, and you know each of your uh, planets, if they are exhausted or settled, that doesn't really matter. You know each of them produce one resource, which is very okay. good. Okay. You can so I now in, draw that, in this case you can shorten the game because the game ends uh, when we go through this deck three times with three players so basically when okay. we play two player game uh, we need to go through this deck twice and four times when you play four play four player game okay so i would now draw two more cards right what i'm going to do right now i'm going to work on this technology so i spent five because i okay. have nothing here and that's what I, I like this name galactic no idea <laughs> It's still in development, guys. Uh, but I can see uh, I'm going to find some uh, victory points at the end of the game. So I have to score two victory points. I need to have two planets, two ships, and two technology cards. I'm going to play it in that. Okay, game. and you can actually get more by the looks of it for yeah, having more, more stuff. More, so more do stuff. you have to meet that section, then also that? Or is it just that, just that next I, one? I mean, if you achieve that one, you already achieved the, the previous one. That's because you know it's it counts up. Uh, okay. So yeah. you can't you can't uh, achieve that. You, one you without, can't actually without, do that without yeah, having exactly, done that. Exactly. Okay. Like that. Um, I'm going to bank five. Excellent. Would you like to grab it? Victory points waiting for. All right. Okay. Um, Mind that you can use always, you know, those. those uh, yeah. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is. I think I'm going to do that and develop my technology. Super. Uh, so you may play one card from your exhausted planet that exceeds so limit. Oh, so if I played one of these, yeah. it would be in addition to my limit exactly. of played cards. Or. Uh, victory points. Uh, yeah, and scoring yeah I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go go for the power, um, and then so those are gone. Oh, and I draw two. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bag something, which is five, and 
Now it's your turn. Should I could buy something? I think I'm gonna buy. You can buy, of course, you can buy more ships, you know, and you, you can work on them. When you've like bought multiple ships and you have them here, so say I had like two ships yeah. queued up. Is there an order to how you then resolve those with your technology? Do you have to do the one nearest first, or could I do that one? As an action, you can place cards only under one of those ships. Right. But so, you can choose which ship. Of course, you can choose. This is not like a queue. Yeah, uh, but, but you can you can split these cards into the. Of course, some some technologies allows you to do it. But first of all, you need to find this technology and work on it. Okay. Okay, uh, so it's then my go, and I'm gonna bank six. Super. I have already some uh, some money because of the discount. I have two. Uh, I have two discounts. So basically, I'm going to buy this planet uh, for free, which is over here. Excellent. And I don't want to spend any any resources. Unfortunately, I don't have this super lovely <laughs> technology, so that's the end of my round. Uh, this time I'm going to bank five again. Okay. Huh? Would you like to grab uh, more cards? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'd quite like a cheap planet, so I'm going to spend six, and I guess or I could. Can I choose to spend just five? Yeah, sure. But you need to Cause, I mean, just the one. Yeah, it's just the one. I mean, that's yeah. the one I'm, I'm that looking at. You, that's fine. Yeah. yeah, so. Excellent. What I'm going to do right now. Huh. Tough choice. I have only two. So I'm going to bank again some money. That's five and eight of them. Now it's your turn. Uh, so now this one would cost me six because I have one. Yeah. Cost you six, yeah, yeah. six uh, blue technology, blue resources to develop. This well, technology. it just so happens I have six. Using a wild. Uh, exactly, that's because that's you have a ship that allows you to play one more card yeah, that exceeds one. the number two, so you can choose either go. way. And do you need the cards for next As round? my hands empty, yeah. I probably should. That's all right. Okay, so my go. I'm gonna use that and that. Uh, sorry, other way. So oh, as five green. Ah, oh, except for I need, uh, six. You need six. Ah, well, I'll just use that as well. But you need to have something that allows me to play an extra card. Yeah, very good, very clever movement. So I can do that for the six. It needs to be taken from uh, from under of your set uh, from your plans. Yeah. Yeah, which that's, it was. So yeah. uh, then I draw two more cards. You see, the small engines built when you discover technology, and this is the. In my opinion, beside of this uh, deck resources, this is the heart of the game. This is the heart of the game. When you when you find small engines that runs the game, when yeah. you, when it's quicker and it's quicker for you. That's like you. I have just realised that we've been playing this not quite correctly because I should have been oh, paying a dollar play. every time. That's fine. That's okay. Next it's only a demo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, later. Yeah. yeah. The bankers just forget. Yeah, they just they just, <laughs> just hold in my loan. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. What I'm gonna do right now, uh, because this is my turn. Yeah. yeah. So let's. Mm, yeah, I have eight dollars. My base discount is three, so I paid three for base card. But I would like to pay six to draw four cards. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, and I have an option to get discover, build, build. When I bank it, I love. I love to have this this ship. Right. That's the end of my round, and I'm going to discard some of these cards and draw up the three. So, when you play cards, even if you're banking, do they all have to match color? Yes, yes, they might be the same color, regardless of the type of the colors, but it might be the same color. Okay. So you can, you can. So you can't just like take the highest value from each one. No, no, no. no. It must be the same color. Basically, I'd love to play that way, but it doesn't. Yep, that's fine. Up. So it's your go, Sarah. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm just going to do a huge bank. Huge bank? Seven. Yeah, seven. 
but you why, why are you playing free cards? It's not it's not built yet. You need to, you can play five. Yeah, five is enough. Okay. Um, I'm also. Oh, sorry. Drawing up. So at the moment, Sarah's winning just because she's claiming all the uh, victory points. The game ends as I said, you know, up to three runs through this deck, three times, just when you run three times, and how we can collect victory points at the end of the game. Each of these cards on your right side, it's worth one victory point. Then you're counting up the chips, the victory point chips, as you gather it during the game, and end scoring abilities, and that's the end. The, the winner is the player who scored the most. Okay, uh, so just gonna I think we'll do a couple more turns so if I do that and that I can bank so I can bank then for five which will take me to six I'm going to buy this ship definitely and to build this ship I need six I have only three so I'm going to place these cards and I'm going to store it for next round, right? So it's your go, Sarah. Um. And I think uh, we'll probably end it after that turn. If, if you want to just end it now, we can do. It's yeah, easier. Yeah, so what's to do? So yeah, I mean, that, that's really good for giving an idea of how the game plays. How the engines start to build up with the actions and stuff. We're still developing this game, actually. You know, the uh, layers on the cards are not final, of course. You know, we, we add some colors. Uh, it will be quite a different uh, looking game for sure, you know. But some of the ideas, some of the um, solutions are, are remained in this game for sure, right? You know, the, this deck or, you know, the two sides of each card, you know, this, this one remains for sure. Uh, we have to balance a bit more these uh, uh, technology cards, and don't worry. We'll yeah, I mean, I, I can see you know this game will play very quickly once. I mean, we've we've been quite slow taking our turns, sure, yeah. but as you get used to this game, I can see it being very rapid fire, turn, turn, turn. Yesterday I played with Mark, and two player game we've played. 17 minutes because we just counted up you know that we 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 run the the timer and we played exactly 17 minutes and that, that's pretty good exactly you know the two player four x game you know feeling yeah. from, from this. So. no that's great so thank you for your time thank you very much <laughs>